Religious commitments are commitments about the most fundamental values that you have. They define the very character of you as, uh, as a human uh, being. They provide you with a criteria which you use to assess what is valuable and what is not. They're the kind of the ultimate thing. Uh, that's not just religious truths. For instance, if you take philosophy of Nietzsche, um, but by the way, I, I'm a Christian, but Nietzsche is my favorite philosopher. Philosopher. I used to read Nietzsche for devotions. Uh, <laughs> I, I had him on the I had him on the bedstand, and, and I would always read a little bit of a little bit of Nietzsche uh, because I thought he is absolutely spectacular, and all wrong and absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Um, and I still continue to read him and teach him. I find him, uh, uh, we've become really good pals and disagree most profoundly on things, right? But for him too, for his philosophy too, right? He was about new tables of values that he wanted to, to establish, right? Those new tables of values, everything in life is evaluated on the basis of these new tables of values. That's why he said, crucified against Dionysus, right? Dionysus against the crucified, the two tables of values. Now, is it possible to pursue the question of truth while respecting the identity of that person? Well, I can tell you, my Paul Nietzsche and I are, are doing really well, <laughs> right? Um, I, think, I, I think I can, right? It's possible to do that because both of us, and I think that's true of Nietzsche, both of us are deeply invested, not simply in our position, but in truth. Truth is something that transcends us. Truth is not something that we claim and desperately hold onto, but truth is something that takes us into freedom, that moves us into itself, rather than we being possessors somehow of the, of the truth. 